Hobby Mom TV. <laughs> I'm Hobby Mom. Let's jump right in and make a teeny tiny pumpkin pie out of clay. The first pie is traditional, what you would maybe find in a grocery store. The crust is made with Ecru Sculpey Primo clay, and the actual pie itself is gold and orange mixed together. So now I'm adding a little bit of color to the crust to the actual pie itself by using pastels or chalks, which you can get at your local hobby or craft store. Now I'm just working on the crust and giving it little indents. I'm using my sculpter tool, but you can just use a toothpick or even a ballpoint pen as well. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the pastels, cut out my slice as you can see, and then I'm going to bake it according to the instructions on the package. I finally found my perfect dream whipped cream. Fake, of course. It's this stuff. You've gotta get some. It's the kind with a nozzle, and I just get a baking tip. You can find it at your local hobby store in the craft baking section. Just put it on the top, and then you can just, you know, put it right on. Now I'm using the same colors, and I'm going to make another pumpkin pie. A little bit different style, though. I just wanted to show you some variety. I went ahead and made the crust, baked it after I put on some pastels on it. And it's a good idea to put pastels on before you bake it. That way it actually stays in the clay. There you see I've baked it and now I'm going to put it in the actual pumpkin pie itself and flatten it so it has a nice smooth top surface there. Put my pastels on and then bake it again. It's okay to bake clay that's already been baked just so you know. You can't really overdo it. I got a little bit of the foil just to give it another pie look and now here's a third pie I'm going to do. This one is a bit more homemade look, the kind that you would maybe make in your own kitchen, all alone with some ice cream. This is at least how my pumpkin pies turn out, my real ones. So I went ahead and did the edges kind of sloppily like I would do in real life. And I just trimmed them up a bit, folded them down over the top. I went ahead and made all my indents and then I did the chalk pastels on them. Here's a hobby mom tip. You can use a sewing needle if you don't have any crafting tools to go ahead and make your little indents in your food pieces. The tool I'm using here is actually designed to put dots onto nails like using nail polish. So when you go to get your nails done and they put those cute little flowers on your toes, this is what they use. But it works great for putting texture into polymer clay food. As you can see here, I'm going very gently, very lightly, not putting much pressure at all, doing little circles and then a little bit of lines to just kind of score the pumpkin pie piece. Now I'm going to make one of my favorite parts, which is the ice cream. It's going to look so delicious to almost eat it, but don't, okay? <laughs> After I shape it, I'm going to add what's called TLS. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's actually called translucent sculpey. It's basically liquid clay. It's going to help bond it. You're gonna add that to your pumpkin pie piece and then go ahead and bake it according to the instructions. And it'll adhere it to the ice cream to the actual pie piece. And it dries clear, which is wonderful. I'm going to add a pin in just because I wanna make them earrings. Now I'm going to bake the whole thing. It will stick together and will look all cohesive as you can see here. Here it is on a plate with a fork all ready to go, looking all cute and tiny. For those experienced viewers watching, please leave your happy tips for me and for some of the other beginners watching. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys on the next DIY.